Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to the second episode of WiiWare. And this episode, we're going to be talking about the two Frogger games, that being Hyper Arcade Edition and Returns, and then Sandy Beach, because they're all Konami. But I didn't want to talk about the Rebirth games just yet. I wanted to talk about some other games first and then get to those a little bit later on. And I'm hoping to get as many episodes as possible out between now and January 29th. As you can see, though, I'm very excited for that whole end of January period. I'm wearing a Kingdom Hearts shirt, and Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be great. Going to start streaming the day it comes out, so that's just something to note. Anyways, we're just going to get right into the games, and I hope that you enjoy. So, the first two games on the docket today are Frogger Hyper Arcade Edition and Frogger Returns. What can I really say, though? I'll walk you through the games and break down some of the features for you, but really the most important thing to note here is that it's Frogger. Now my experiences with Frogger have been relatively few and far between. When I was very young, like a toddler, I played Frogger on my computer. I don't remember much about it at all, really. For some reason I recall it having a level select style overworld map. I can't find anything like that in an old Frogger PC game though, at least what I've seen of them. So I'm just going to put down another marker in the Lucas Crazy column and move on. Then, many, many years later, but still well over a decade ago, I got Frogger's Adventure, The Temple of the Frog, for the Game Boy Advance as a Christmas present for my aunt. I didn't know much about Frogger, except that maybe I hallucinated an experience playing a non-existent game once. But hey, I was willing to give it a shot. Honestly, I haven't played this game in at least five years, but I remember it being really fun. I didn't even realize that this game had a sequel until I went looking for my mystifying PC game. I need to give both games a visit at some point. I mean, they might actually be really interesting to look at. <clears throat> with all that being said, let's go back to the Frogger games proper. Since my experience with Frogger tackled a traditional level-based structure, I wasn't used to the classic objective of just getting across the map. In the arcade edition, that's really all there is to the main mode. Here's the thing, as much fun as the extra modes can be with other people to play with, the sad truth is that, as far as I can tell, the Wii version is stripped back compared to the HD contemporaries. It is possible that this is due to the game being brought over using the Unity engine and not an engine developed just for use with the Wii, and thereby being better optimized as a result. From what I can tell, the next-gen texture, which is aptly named I suppose, the one that has 3D models for everything, is totally gone, as well as the DDR texture. I mean, that isn't a deal breaker, but man, this game is anywhere from 700 to 1000 Wii points and it isn't even exclusive here. I only really decided to talk about these two games to warn you to avoid them. Hyper Arcade Edition is available and better elsewhere. Frogger Returns is only 500 points though, should you get that? Well considering you hold the Wii Remote vertically instead of horizontally, no. No you, you should not. It's fun enough. The first time I played it I didn't enjoy it much, but playing it again to record was a lot more fun. It's just Frogger though, I mean they both are. If I have to give a review number, then Arcade Edition and Frogger Returns both get a 6 out of 10. They're, they're just sort of there. So what, may you ask, is this strange game that Luke has corresponding with two Frogger games? Well, it's a game that is widely hated, bad reviews, disliked by all, and, and yet as weird as it may sound, I like it, I think it's fun. It certainly isn't complicated or anything, it, it's actually exceedingly simple, but that doesn't mean it isn't fun. Here's the deal, the game is somewhat unique and offers two different game modes. There is a free creation tool that is decent fun, and there is a tower defense game that is structured very uniquely to anything I've personally played. You have a bucket that you use to grab sand that is away from the castle, and bring it back to put up walls. The walls are to keep out crabs. Crabs for some reason want to destroy your castle. So that, that is pretty weird though. I honestly don't think it can be that hard to keep a sand castle up when you haven't even left the beach yet. The realism factor here is low. No one would ever just decide to destroy a sandcastle for no reason or anything like that. I mean, come on. Alright, after much deliberation, I've decided to actually go to the beach and build a sandcastle and see just how difficult it is to protect, because sandy beaches leads me to believe it's impossible, but I have a feeling it's not that difficult. I mean, I really don't think crabs are going to come out of nowhere and destroy my sandcastle. How often does that actually happen to people? It seems like a rare occurrence if it ever does.
All right, it's done and it looks like it's gonna be fine and I don't need to worry about it. I'm so excited. And you know, it seems like they're gonna be okay. I was worried that some crabs would come by or something. All right, never mind. So as you can tell, the game is clearly one of the most realistic experiences on the WiiWare service. Its nitty gritty immersion is just to a degree that I don't even think anyone wanted. Turns out it was too real for its own good. That's probably the real reason people didn't like it. Well, to prevent things like, you know, that from happening, you use accrued points to set up small cannons. The sound effects on this game, I think, are enough to tip you off that you're not supposed to take it seriously. The only music-like thing in this game is that it has the sound of waves in the background while you play. The game isn't that easy, actually. You have to plan well and put together a good system to ward off offending crabs. I can appreciate that the game lets you get directly involved by slapping the crabs to death. There's that realism again. I can only survive a handful of rounds even when I'm legitimately trying. It's a lot funner than it is given credit for and I've gotten a lot less for a lot more. It is 500 Wii points like Frogger Returns, but you won't see this game anywhere else. It is the kind of thing that you will only play once or twice, and maybe again in a few years, but it is still a fun experience. People complain about it a lot though. I think it was just not as deep as some of the other games Konami put on the system. I don't know what people were expecting though. Maybe I can only enjoy it as much as I do because I'm so far after the fact and got to see everything that the Wii Rare had to offer, and now it doesn't seem so bad. The creative mode just gives you a bunch of options to try and make a castle however you want, but it is fairly limited. If you enjoy that kind of thing though, I'm sure it will strike your fancy. I give Sandy Beaches a 7.25 out of 10. It's more fun than a 7, but not quality enough to be a 7.5. All right, so that just about wraps it up for these three Konami games. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like down below if you thought it was helpful and you now know what you want to spend those WiiWare points on. Just to be safe, though, I'd hold off until you, all the videos are out. Or if you just don't want to risk the videos not coming out before then, then you should just go ahead and buy whatever you want. I mean, come on. Anyways, if you liked the video, leave a like down below. If you have uh, any suggestions on other WiiWare games I should talk about, I'd love to hear them. I'll do my best to work them into the schedule if I have time. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you want to ring the bell so you know when I actually upload, that'd be cool too. Hopefully these videos will come out really fast. I can't say for sure they will, but I'm going to try my best. And then they'll lead up to Kingdom Hearts 3, which is what I'm excited about. It'll be great. They're not really related. They're just going to end at the same time as it starts. Anyways, thank you again for watching. Jesus loves you. So do I. Tune in next time. And goodbye.